Hi, this is Dr. John Whitcomb uh, telling you about vitamin K2 and the comb study. This is an important study because this may be the end of osteoporosis. We've had a terrible epidemic of osteoporosis in America for the last hundred years, and we know that in many parts of the world, women break their hip at less than one out of one, one to 80 compared to America. So we're we're stuck with a runaway epidemic in America. We haven't been able to understand it. Well, this study is brought to us from uh, our friends in Canada at uh, the University of Calgary, Stephen Jenis and Thomas Bouchard. It's called the COMB study. C-O-M-B stands for Combination of Micronutrients for Bone Density. And what they did was they took uh, 77 volunteers. It was not a randomized study. It was 77 volunteers who agreed to take a combination of micronutrients. And their combination included uh, DHEA, uh, which is fish oil, uh, 250 milligrams, uh, vitamin D, 2,000 uh, units, vitamin K2, 200 units, uh, strontium, 680 milligrams, uh, magnesium, 25 milligrams, and calcium from food sources. In addition to this, they encouraged exercise. And what they found was, was simply amazing. Uh, women who took that combination had a 4% increase in bone density in their uh, hip. This is compared to 2%, which is the best you can usually get from bisphonates and all the pharmaceutical drugs which have A, expense, and B, a lot of side effects. Uh, there was an 8% increase in density in lower spine. So this is a major step forward. We have a way of fixing osteoporosis by taking simple, non-toxic food elements. And the question is, what's different? Well, K2 is different than vitamin K1. K1 is all about blood clotting, and we have lots of K1. But K2 comes from cows eating grass, and in their um, udders, the K1 is changed to K2. When our cows don't eat grass raised when our cows don't eat grass raised milk, they don't make K2. And when we don't drink milk ourselves, American cows are fed corn and beans. As a consequence, we have much, much less K2 in our diet. And you can measure uncarboxylated osteocalcin. Osteocalcin is the protein that is responsible for plugging calcium into our bones. And the one thing we can measure in America is that we do have very low levels. And this study has confirmed that. So what will work for me? My advice is everybody should be on K2. You should probably be on fish oil and vitamin D. I think you should probably add a little bit of vitamin A as well because that seems to also participate in activating uh, this whole combination. And we should find a way to alkalize ourselves. There's good evidence that the more alkaline diet, which means the more vegetables you eat, and maybe some alkaline supplements, uh, up until including uh, simple bicarbonate of soda, uh, have been proven to also increase uh, bone density. And add this all together with a little bit of weight bearing and strength building exercise, and you will have healthy bones. If you are interested in topics like this, this is what we teach and help folks with at Brookfield Longevity and our clinic in Brookfield, Wisconsin. We look forward to seeing you.